What's up, everybody? We are live. And I know we are on a delay, so I'll wait for people in the chat. We'll start this at about 5 after. Give people some time. Everybody. Give some people to a uh, chance to get in here. Tell you what, though, I like not having to uh, read off the names anymore. Best thing ever. One, because I don't mispronounce them anymore. But two, it's much easier. monitor would stay sitting up. That would be fantastic. Wish we could have music, too. That would be fantastic. Can't get shut down for 24 hours, though, again. That was crazy. All over Highway to Hell, song that's older than me. They blocked it twice. Once, I only did half the song, I guess. Then they found the rest of the song and blocked it again. That's crazy. And I guess they take some of them more serious than the others. Because uh, first time I got a copyright, it was just like, a, hey, don't do that anymore. Replace the song. Video will stay up, but you cannot make any money, which I don't anyway. So, it is shipping tonight. We're finishing it up. And I didn't have a break of Ginter on 422. I think it was last week, last Wednesday. With no team, um, anybody that's like Gary V's on there. There's a bunch. No team's the best team to have in this. You're almost guaranteed a hit. You guys got to remember, with this heavy base product, it takes a little bit to sort and, and ship it. So, especially, I don't do a lot of these heavy base for that reason. It takes about two hours to sort and about an hour and a half to ship it, especially with these minis. Pain in the butt. Tatis, yes, this is the same case. Same case. What would qualify as no team? Anything that doesn't have a team on it. Uh, see if I got most of the stuff is packed up. Um, they have any no teams on here? There is no no team cards on there. That was crazy. It was. Wish I could show you something, uh, Justin, but I don't, everything's packed up, ready to go. 
As a matter of fact, after this break, I'm going to start shipping everything. So you guys should be seeing tracking numbers. Yeah, dogs, horses, celebrities. Uh, there's some. There is some sports in there, but it's not baseball. It's going to be like swimmers, uh, skiers. Um, crap. I usually have some of the stuff laying around. And the one time I don't, um, I get a question. Uh, what else? There's relic cards. Uh, there's like spelling bee winners and, um, I know there's pieces, I don't know if there's in this one, but in the past they've done pieces of president's hair, like, uh, Thomas Jefferson's hair. Like there was a strand of his hair in it and it went for like two or three grand. Um, Oh, yeah. Uh, that is definitely a priority package. That is definitely a priority. Lucille Ball's in this? Okay. Oh, uh, Relics, yep. Um, who else? Uh, I know Gary Vaynerchuk's in it. Um, I think he was the big seller for some reason. Uh, like Rocky Balboa was one uh they had sylvester stallone autos and stuff like that in the past it's just all weird stuff you'll get method man he goes pretty good um right. here let me we're gonna start in like two minutes um it is you get the most cards in the break there's no doubt about it post malone i can't remember um there was There was an artist that was going pretty good, too. Um, unless that was last year or the year before. Just all the weird things. All the weird things that are in there, they're yours. Like, this is my favorite set because of that. Um... But if you tried to get that in a full case break, you're paying like two, three hundred dollars, but you're also getting probably half the hits. So it's it's the best, it's definitely the best spot in the break, like no doubt. I can't think of I'm trying to get a full case of this. Um both my distributors all have loose boxes left after this one. And it was, I mean, they have more than a case full, but it's you don't know what's in it. I know there's no case hits per se. There's rip cards and stuff, but I like having that sealed case. It just makes me feel better. <laughs> Tiger King. I get my Tiger King uh, garbage belt kids next week. I just got the tracking for that. I'm surprised how underprinted that is. Like I thought with the popularity, uh, the Tiger Kings would be close to 10,000 on the print list. There was only 3,000 sets made. Which is crazy. Like, that means nobody ordered it. It's already going for double on eBay. I bought the wholesale um, lot, so I'll have a couple extra. I bought it just as, like, a memory type thing. And just in case it went up. And to see it only had a 3,000 print run was crazy. Um... Woo, kind of normal size card. Uh, also, guys, if you got one of these in the break, just to give you a heads up, it won't be in, it'll be set separate from your cards. Just because I don't want it to get bent or whatever, it'll be set in, it gets set in a, like a cardboard mailer uh, with, with some kind of protection. So if you get your card and you're like, hey, I didn't get my giant card. No, you're getting it. It just it gets sent separate. And I don't send it on the eBay tracking number just because eBay gets weird when you have multiple tracking for things. So. Console, Indiana Jones. Uh, I'd go with Indy. You'll find some kind of relic that'll take out console.
But yeah, um, Justin, you'll get a ton of cards. You get your money's worth definitely with that spot. Almost in any base product, for the most part, if, unless your card, your team has like one card in it, you do well in these heavy base. Um, and everybody in break one will be getting a discount code too, because I usually get breaks out in two or three days. But for some reason, I saw on Amazon too, and I've been getting like 50 orders a day. I actually raised my prices just to take a, get a break and get everything out today and yesterday. It's been insane. Those uh, stimulus checks and uh, people are getting bored. I think I had 40 go out today. Yesterday had all the breaks. Post office lady wanted to kill me. She ended up giving me um, some containers. I have the pre-scan sheets anyways. I go in there. They scan a barcode. Everything's in. But she was like, yeah, we're just going to exchange for now on. Is this the one that uh, Kevin Smith and uh, Jamie Muser in? Or was that? That was earlier, I think. Uh, that one, this mini is in there sideways. I'm going to show you guys. It's messed up. This is the kind of stuff you'd get. The stocking challenge. Just all the weird stuff. And if you put sets of that stuff together, you'll get your money back real quick out of this. Which most of them are like 5 to 10 cards. So Hopefully we get some uh, big hits. Keep continuing. The last two breaks, you got to keep that streak going. I hate stopping breaking when we're on a streak like that. Uh, if you guys didn't see, Sapphire is up there, and Sapphire is going crazy already, and it doesn't end till Monday. It has definitely the most likes and views. Or not likes, uh, watches and views than I've had on any break in a long time. It's crazy. It's one of the hottest products out there right now. All right, Reggie Jackson. And our first hit is going to be uh, Blake Snell for the Tampa Bay Rays to 25. It does not look like Blake. Looks like Keith. Just saying. The Rays on the board. What a nice one. 25. Like that would be you, Oz. Uh, Highland Terrier. Michael Trout. And you got all these plain cards. Uh, for the Rangers, Fergie Jenkins, regular. Max Muncie for the Dodgers, A&G back. We got a mini on top. Uh, Tulowitzki for the Yankees, who didn't even play half the year. Vlad Guerrero Sr. Uh, Quinn Quincy. The musician. Rocks. Wow. There's so much weird stuff. Johnny Bunch. Angie Beck. Uh, Alfaro, regular back.
A&G back, uh, Portella. Porcella. And for the Detroit Tigers, Miguel Cabrera. Hopefully we get a rip card out of this, too. I've seen cases with two or three. We haven't hit one out of our breaks. A framed uh, rocks. Burton rocks. Post Malone. Uh, Hillary Knight, a &G back. Sister Soviet. Does she have autos in this? That'd be kind of cool. Uh, DeJong, Angie back. Harper, regular back. And Eddie Murray, framed. So let's everybody think of uh, the Pentagon saying UFOs come out and nobody really cares. It's like the UFO videos. Uh, Steve Carlton, regular back. Nobody really is, is saying anything. <laughs> Tells you how crazy it is right now. One, or not Wander. Mikel Franco, framed. So used to breaking Bowman. Harold Baines, regular back. And Pudge Rodriguez, we're going to back. And we got an A and G back for. Is that Juan Gonzalez? Juan Gonzalez. One of my favorite players growing up. Uh, Ozzy Smith, regular back. And. This goes for the no team spot. Uh, Pastrana, that is Travis Pastrana. Told you, you're guaranteed at least one. You probably get a couple out of this. To be honest with you. Uh, that is a history mini. Lost. Lost languages. Wow. They put it in a different language to almost read it. All right. Last stack. Those plain ones are kind of cool. I might buy that set. That is a Jordan Hicks regular back. And Chihuahua. That is the most valuable dog card. Yeah, I I I've seen them before. I just think it's it's funny though. Like that would be big news any other time, but right now it's like who cares? <laughs> I watched them. I'm like, I think I've seen these before. And they just acknowledged that they were real. Like, at first, they were like, no, no, these seem to be fake. And now they're like, okay, yeah, they're real. Oh, we got to open that. And N43. Come on, auto. In 10 years of opening this stuff, I've never had an auto out of a box stopper. So we're overdue. I mean, they're super rare, but... Mookie Butts for the Red Sox. Giant box loader. I don't know how many of you guys have been around a while, but back in the day, I want to say 2012, they had uh, Sea Monkeys was one of the... Um, cards you can get. Relic cards. And that damn card was going for... Uh, 30 40 bucks For C 
sea monkey seeds. <laughs> I mean, it calmed down. I think you can get them for like 10 bucks now. But, man. For sea monkeys that you could buy in a toy store for like 6 bucks, that little package was going for $30, $40. It was a huge hit back then. Yeah, they're unexplainable. I, I makes you think, but there's got to be some explanation. And again, who knows? watching uh joe rogan this week he had uh, a few guys on that were interesting to watch one thing i've noticed in this in this time i've been watching a lot of different stuff as i'm uh sorting and breaking listen to some podcasts um a lot of uh mostly i listen to business podcasts that pertain to my business, but, or stock podcasts, like, trying to see if I should sell, hold, what the deal is, but, yeah, just this boredom, like, not being able to go and do what I normally do, is, uh, definitely catching up with me. <laughs> Guerrero, I would, you know what, I haven't pulled a Guerrero Auto in a long time. But I haven't ever pulled a Tatis auto. Tatis is the only big guy I haven't pulled. A Tatis and Alonzo. Tatis and Alonzo are the two that have evaded me. And I've opened a lot. Like, even in Chronicles, 2019 Chronicles, they're easier to hit. And I still haven't, like, in 10 cases, I haven't hit one. So I'm due. Just like I say in Elite Baseball, I'm due for Jason Dominguez. Something. Like a short print base. Something. Dominguez I've hit in every other product that he's in except for Elite Extra Edition. Alright, good luck. Box number two. Hunter Dozier. Or Brian Dozier. Regular back. Uh, framed Martinet, regular back. Pete Alonzo, rookie. There we go. We're just talking about him. Need some ink on it, though. Chugging along, train mini. Uh, DeJong, A and G back. Yeah. That's Hatties. <laughs> That's true. I hit the Tatis 101. There's that. There's no ink yet. <laughs> Schwarber. I actually hit a Tatis to 10 in... Um, uh, crap. I can't think of the product. It was gold. So I think it was Panini, though. Gold vinyl. Uh, Bellinger framed. Boston Terrier. Oh, that's not going to be a hit. Kikuchi, regular back. Oh, but that is behind it. Juan Soto! Frame mini for the Washington Nationals. Congratulations. There we go. Just took two boxes to get started. Congrats to the Nationals. Very nice. Who we got on the Nationals? Official? Office? I can't read it. <laughs> Congratulations. Juan Soto, Babe Ruth. a &G back. Nice for the Yankees.
tell you one product that owes us is Bowman Chrome. We got an ANG back, uh, Scott Kingery. A mini English Bulldog. Daniel Murphy, regular back. I was about to say Dale Murphy. Uh, Juan Gonzalez, ANG back. Going to get the rainbow of Juan Gonzalez. Get them all. Daniel Polka. Regular back. Gary Carter for the Expos. Max Muncy, ANG back. Justice Sheffield, rookie. Todd Helton, regular back. Uh, Whit Merrifield, regular back. Ryan Fallon. Let's say that ain't Jimmy Fallon. Again, uh, regular back. Oh, nice for the Angels. Shohei Otani. Very nice. Tiny frame relic. Cedric Mullins. The guy who lost his bat. I don't know how somebody can go down so fast. Javier Baez. Regular. Like, had a decent year, then he came back and just... Stunk it up. Chance Adams for the Yankees. Regular back. Uh, Golden Retriever. Mini. Chance Adams. Rookie. And Bubby Fall. Ruby Falls. Official sales DC. There we go. Couldn't read it. I could see official. It's so small on my screen. Like, I got a 27-inch screen, but I, it only shows me part of it because of uh, the software I'm running. Ozzy Smith, regular back. Johnny Bench, a &G back. And for the no team, it is Danielle Colby. I believe that's uh, American Pickers. The girl from American Pickers. One of my friends just got a bunch of autos in the mail from her. Yep, American Pickers. Very nice. Oversized card. There we go. Banchiaga Danton Falls for the no team spot. Uh, they'll be sleeved when they get sent to you. They'll be sleeved on top of it, actually. Alonzo, Tatis, Guerrero. Top rookies get sleeved and top loaded. And remember, when you're posting that, that Alonzo was a minute and a half ago. So. <laughs> you guys are about 45 seconds to a minute behind me. Judge Rip. Hopefully we get a Rip card. That would be awesome. I 
don't think the three boxes that I know of didn't have one. And I can tell you the best auto out of them was one of the same ones we got in the last break, like a, uh, a star auto. Can't think of who it was though. It wasn't a star, like the spelling bee winner or something like that. So could be something big coming out of this. I mean the the Soto is pretty decent. The 101 uh, Tatis was really good. I wouldn't say that we had a case yet, but there's still four mystery boxes that got shipped out through the website that I don't know. Doggy. So hard to say because, I mean, I'd do full cases of this if it was calling for it on eBay, but it just, just doesn't. Not for the price that we have to buy them at right now. About three, four boxes is the limit. We're doing on the website. But I, I wouldn't be able to ship all cards. That would be, holy cow, five five 5,000 cards. Let me do quick math. Almost 6,000 cards that would be. Doing quick math. It's no math. <laughs> Forrest Gump. Uh, Shih Tzu. Uh, John Smoltz. Mini. Grant German Marquez, regular back. Uh, Frank Robinson, A and G back. And Lost Languages, Callum Language. Our next hit is for the no team spot. Graham Elliott, chef extraordinaire. Uh, Willie Adams, regular back. Uh, pie eating. Joey Votto, A&G Beck. Whip Merrifield, regular back. Our mini, the train. And John Flair, or Jack Flaherty from the St. Louis Cardinals, framed mini auto. I'm getting more autos in this break than we did. Jack Flaherty. Roger Maris, A&G Beck. <laughs> Chance Adams. It's like the fourth mini of him. There's a whole set of minis. We got four of one dude. Anthony Rizzo, 
Bring it back. Still do one hits. Hopefully that hit is a rip card. Uh, Brian Dozier, regular back. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Joey Gallo, framed. Daniel Murphy, regular back. And Javier Baez, regular back. Haven't seen any bazooka backs either. Uh, Al Kaline. Wow. NG. David Price framed. And Raphael Devers for the Red Sox. So no rip card. There had to be one or two in those boxes that got sent out. No, there used to be one per bot or case. That spawn was a regular back. Jose Otuve, A and G cheater back. Todd Halton, regular back. And that is the break. Monkey Bats framed. All right. Oh, we got to do a f opening of this, too. Come on, auto. Gonna be Francisco Lindor, non-signed. All right, do a quick hit recap. Here is a hit recap of Alan Ginter number two. We got Rafael Devers for the Red Sox, Jack Flaherty for the Cardinals, Elliot for the no team spot. He's a chef. Danielle Colby from American Pickers for no team spot. Shohei Otani. Juan Soto, framed auto. Uh, I always want to say Eric Pastrana, but it's Travis Pastrana for the no team spot. Miguel Cabrera and Blake Snell to 25 for the Tampa Bay Rays. So, A&G, it is what it is. Like I said, the, the no team spot is the spot to have. As they got three out of the nine hits. So, um, I don't think I'll do another one at eat. The prices on this stuff went up $20 from when I bought the last case per box. So, I don't think I'll do any more unless it comes back down. Uh, but then again, everything is going through the roof right now. If you guys know anything about what's going on. No real product until maybe mid-May. Uh, new product. Um, there was some leaf that came in, some baseball leaf, but other than that, uh, nothing new until mid-May because of, um, the Jose Canseco thing going on. Thank you, Rick. Um, this stuff, I'm going to get finished packing up and shipping the stuff tonight, uh, from last A&G break. That'll be out in tomorrow's mail. And this will probably be out Thursday. I, I'm not breaking tomorrow because uh, basically everything that's been going on, Amazon's been killing me. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, so I want to separate days a little bit until things slow down. Uh, 50 packages a day on top of breaking is... So you're talking like 70 packages a day. It's a bit much right now. Um, but yeah. Uh, we will, I'm probably going to have three to four breaks a week. This week I'm breaking Tuesday and Thursday and most likely, 
Friday. I think whatever's on the website will break Friday. I think that's uh, Donruss Optic uh, Random Teams. So if you guys are into basketball, it's relatively cheap Donruss Optic. I know it's one box, but that box costs $500. So, um, but it's a good, decent product to get into. You can buy a couple teams. You hit the Pelicans. You hit any Zion, you're tripling up. So it's worth a shot. Um, plus John Morant and all those guys and all those, uh, I think they're blue refractors that are in there. That's good stuff. Um, other than that, got a bunch of stuff on eBay ending tomorrow for Thursday and a bunch in Sapphire, which is ending Monday, but it's going crazy. Get your bids in, scare people away. See you on the next one, guys. Peace out.